Hi everyone, my name is Tony Willey, and welcome to another exciting episode of Skyrim Special Edition Mod Tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to download and use Wiry Bash, a program that is very helpful and useful for uh, Skyrim Special Edition, along with other um, games like Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, and uh, Oblivion, and uh, Sky the original Skyrim Legendary Edition. Wiry Bash is a mod manager itself, but can also be used to create what's called a bash patch. And if you and you can also merge some mods with them as well using this. Now I'm not going to show you how to do that in this tutorial. This tutorial is a very simple installation tutorial using Mod Organizer 2. Okay? And I'll be showing you some shortcuts on how to use that. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure after you download it, you endorse it. Always please endorse. Make sure you give the, the Wiry, Wiry Bash team a huge thank you for working and updating this recently. Um, it has been updated and it's working very, very well. Utumo is the one who uploaded it. Please give him a give them a thank you. Now, um, the first thing you want to do is download the installer. Unless you're using Python scripts for beta, that's something you'd use if you were a modder. Now, um, an actual modder modder, someone who actually creates mods. Now, that's something I would use. Now, uh, for this one, you're going to want to use Wiry Bash as the beta. Um, to installer, so go ahead and download it manually. All right, once that's downloaded, we're gonna go to our download section, right? All right, now that we have it here, as you can see, Wiry Bash is in your download folder, but I like to put it in my mod tools. So I'll go here, my mod tools, and I'll drop it in there. Now we're going to load it up. Now you can install it for Skyrim, Fallout 4, and Skyrim SE. You can do it all at once. I already have them kind of installed, and it will put them in the directories, and that's where you want it. Very, very simple. So click, go ahead and click Next. Click here. Click Install. All right, you can also see the details if you want where to put it and everything like that. It has all the information you want if you really want to get technical. But we're just going to, it says complete, we're going to click next. And then all we're going to do is launch the Sky, and you can see you can view the, um, it'll give you a nice little manual if you really want to go into detail detail with this. You can, after you install it, you can just start walking through this. And it's basically all the stuff down here. It's, it's a lot of information. Take your time reading it. <laughs> all right, so let's get out of here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go up to, to uh, Mod Organizer. We're going to click Wiry Bash. Now we're going to go to our um, wherever our Steam folder is. You're going to find it. Click here. Go to Steam Apps. You're going to go to Common. Skyrim Directory. And you're going to look for this here. This is where the Wiry Bash is installed itself. M-O-P-Y. Mopy. And you're looking for the executable, which is this one. Click this. Click open. Click add. Now you will know it's working when you come down here and you see here and you can click run. Now, once you know why Rebash is loaded, you will see all your plugins here. This is how you know it's working properly. Okay. Now, there's a few other things I'm going to show you. The same that I did with the SSE edit. Now, we're not going to make an actual bash patch right now. I want to make something. I want to um, show you just the shortcuts you can do. Now, with Wiry Bash, once it's on here, you can add the shortcut to your toolbar right here. So, if you click on it, it'll load from here. Okay. And if you want, you can add it to your desktop. But as always, Wiry Bash doesn't have the actual icon. You can load it up from here and it'll do the same thing with your mod since it is running through Mod Organizer. Now, if you want to change the image, you go down to Properties, click Icon, and you need to find out where Wiry Bash is installed. So you go to your directory, you go to Mopi, click on the Wiry Bash icon, click OK, click Apply, as you can see right there, and then click OK, and there it is. Load it up. And there's all your mods. So instead of having to open up Nexus uh, Mod Organizer, you can do it from your desktop. 
Simple and easy to use, and you can make your bash patch the same way, and it'll go to your um, your override folder in your mod organizer. Now, click out of here. All right, everyone, that's how you use. That's how you download and install Wire Wirey Bash for mod organizer. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you guys like uh, Wire Bash? Is it one of your programs you use for your for your mods? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys like my videos, please go ahead, like, and share with your friends. If you guys like my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Always appreciated. Once again, my name is Tony Wale. Thank you so much for the click, and I will see you next time.